we're going to talk about tools uh, today. This is our tool wrap that we often use with the children because it's very visual and children know where to put things back and we can see very quickly if a tool's missing when we're counting them at the end of the day or when we're checking them throughout the day. Um, so we like to label them with the number of tools that we should have in for the children so it's good for their numeracy. So today we're going to talk about three types of tools. We're going to talk about uh, cutting tools, we're going to talk about um, sawing tools and we're going to talk about swinging tools. Today because we're going to talk about cutting tools and sawing tools uh, we need to get some green wood. Uh, this is sycamore, it's non-native so that's the species we prefer to, to use when we're carving and sawing with the children. If you use green wood it's much easier for children to remove the bark if they're whittling or carving because there's lots of moisture in it. If you use dead wood uh, the moisture's gone so it's much harder for the children to get purchased and therefore can lead to little accidents. It's much easier to try to build up things for children to succeed. With sawing, you can use green wood or uh, dead wood, depending on the blade that you've got. Once children have got used to using tools from the tool wrap, uh, we might have tools available for children to use on their own with supervision, uh, but we always have adult tools, which are the slightly sharper uh, tools, uh, and we keep them at in our bum bags or in a closed container and that's managed more closely in terms of adult ratios because they are sharper um, and need closer supervision. So this is an adult saw, it's a folding saw. Uh, we don't tend to use this without an adult managing the children, it's quite sharp. With any saw though you need to wear a glove on the hand that you're not sawing with. It's optional for children to wear gloves on both hands but this has got a handle on it so this hand's going to be perfect safe however saws jump when we talk about it in a minute saws jump so you always need to have a glove on this hand and as an adult you always need to demonstrate good practice and so you should always wear a glove on the hand that you're not holding the saw with so we're just sawing as flush to the tree as possible that's going to stop the uh, tree from getting moisture in it and therefore killing the tree off 